Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to test differential relays in RTMS software. Now let's get started. In this video, I will discuss how to test a two-winding, three-phase transformer differential relay. This process is designed to test a three-phase relay only. Legacy single-phase relays, such as GE BDD or Westinghouse ABB, HU relays should be tested using the appropriate ramp methods discussed in previous videos. I will be using RTMS software in simulation mode today as noted in the yellow background. To get started, select the new test button and then select transformer differential. The transformer differential feature includes specific help for testing differential relays. Differential Quick Start provides an explanation of all settings required to proceed with the test. Differential Full Help includes the Differential Quick Start and it leads you all the way through step by step testing the entire relay. The Nameplate Format button selects between ANSI images and nomenclature and IEC images and nomenclature. Begin by entering the transformer name plate information. Start with the primary and secondary voltage, the associated CT ratios, and the size of the transformer. Now select the transformer type. Select delta, grounded Y, 30 degrees. Displacement. Notice the message. Please ensure the automatically computed single phase pickup factors match the factors specified in your relay manual. We'll talk about this more in just a moment. We've selected a DYN1 transformer. This is the most common substation transformer in North America. Modern relays actually use symmetrical components for calculating differentials. When applying single phase current, the currents must be compensated for this. The compensation factors shown are the most common compensation factors based on the transformer type and the CT connections. Zero sequence elimination. Some relays take care of this internally, others require it to be handled on the outside. This can be selected or deselected as required by your manual. Interposing CTs. Interposing CTs are auxiliary CTs connected into your current circuit. Auxiliary CTs used in transformer differential circuits are rare. Phase rotation. Choose your ABC rotation or CBA rotation. You'll be using six current channels to test the relay. By default, current channels 1, 2, and 3 are used to test winding 1. Current channels 4, 5, and 6 are used to test winding 2. The primary current channels of 1, 2, and 3 are rated at 32 amps continuous or 60 amps momentary. Current channels 4, 5, and 6 are rated to 5 amps continuous or 15 amps momentary. Depending on the configuration and the ratios of your transformer and your differential relay, you may need to change where the higher currents are applied. You also need to confirm CT polarity connections. The default is shown in the red arrows. To change, simply click the arrow. This concludes part one of how to test differential relays in RTMS software. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.